Continuing on the custom card review streak, we're going to be talking about a Carnival LR Super Saiyan Vegeta, and it's coming in from Liam. Send me custom cards over to bhdevcustomcards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card as soon as possible. I'm getting all of these recent custom cards out the way. Liam says inside the email, hey Dev, hope you're having a good day, and I hope you enjoy this card. I am having a great day, and I hope you are too, and I absolutely am going to enjoy this card. Enjoy all you guys' card, because I never know what exactly... Kind, what kind of card you guys gonna give me <laughs> never know which is why i really like doing these custom card reviews i never know what the card is going to be looking like like every day like it's always something new so uh it's a carnival lr super saiyan vegeta overconfident power uh super agl his leader skill is super saiyans vegeta's family powerful comeback four key and 200 percent across the board so he's a triple 200 percent leader skill uh so just at first glance i mean the new LR Gohan, nice. We have the trio, nice. We have uh, Jiren, UI. Uh, we have uh, Gogeta, nice. I mean, you could get Int Roller on there, but you do have to grab some uncontrollable power characters to get some value out of him. It's like you could possibly go with this rotation with each other. I did see Tech Broly around here somewhere. He is, yeah, he's right there. And uh, both these six year EZAs are there. There are a couple of great options on this team. Like in terms of Dokkan Fest uh, TURs, we do have Int Fat Boo. Who else do we have we do have this little support uh piccolo and uh vegeta who else do we have i know i skipped over a couple of characters <laughs> super trunks <laughs> um uh, i mean god goku and 23rd world tournament probably not gonna be throwing them on the team because this team does have a bunch of top heavy lrs but yeah um outside of that let me see is there any super easy a's i'm probably gonna glance over any super easy a's yeah, I think I had probably glanced over a super easy A. Um, anyways, let's see what we're looking at here. So his passive, uh, underestimating the opponent, uh, activates the interest animation once only, and he gets 150% attack and defense, as well as four key and guard for six turns from the start of the turn when there is a Andros Ass Cell Saga or Androids category enemy at start of characters attacking turn. So you really want to face those specific enemies. And he also gets 350% attack and defense at the start of turn, as well as an additional 5 key. And 79% attack and defense when performing a super attack. Very nice. And he gets 90% damage reduction. And with each turn pass, he loses 15% damage reduction. And it can't go lower than 75%. So once that all trickles down, he's going to be at exactly 15% damage reduction. Okay. And after the character's entry turn, and with each turn passed, he loses 30% attack and defense, and it does not go no lower than 300%. And when HP is first reduced to 60% or lower, he gets additional 10% damage reduction. Or well, he increases his damage reduction rate by 10%, and he gives himself one key and additional 40% attack and defense. And in parentheses, well, there's a little note. 10% to damage reduction rate and one key and 10% attack and defense and one key each time HP reduces by 10% following first falling below 60%. So you're going to be building up key attack defense and a bit of damage reduction as you're falling below the uh, HP threshold, just like 60% and then lower and lower and lower. Interesting. So, uh, if his HP is 49, well not 49, it's 45. I read that as 49. If his HP is 45% or below, guarantees first three attacks are crits and launches one guarantee super, two additional attacks that both have a 70% chance to come super attack, and one 50% chance of launching an additional attack. Okay, so it's a regular additional normal. And he also survives a KO attack directly at this character once only so he does have that in his back pocket and his super attack effect for his 12 key he raises allies and enemies attack and defense by three percent for three turns okay so it's not really too much like eh, it's not really too much not too significant of a buff um and he lowers his own attack and defense by three percent for three turns and causes colossal damage to enemy with a 30 percent chance to stun now granted he's not really lowering his own attack and defense by too much but do keep in mind that if you're below that HP threshold of 45%, he do he does one guarantee super. He has two additional super attack chances as well as additional just normal, just out the gate, just a 50% chance of additional normal. Um, so he could be hurting his own self. But if you really think about it, if you really well, nah, that's hmm. I don't think this is gonna affect him too much. I don't think it is. I don't think it's gonna affect him too much. 
because he's already going to be sitting at how much? It's like 500% attack and defense. Like this is everything added up. Um, so just about 500% attack and defense up to nine key guard and 90% damage reduction. Just at turn one, that's ridiculously strong. And now granted, you're going to be trickling down on damage reduction you're gonna lose your guard of course after the, that six turn threshold passes but i'm assuming that you're just gonna transform into super vegeta and be god right we're gonna go off on a whim and say that super vegeta is a god let's just throw that out there. i'm pretty certain he is because there's no way that this guy is crazy strong turn one and as he's as he's losing that damage reduction and then he, he eventually loses that guard um he's he's most he has to be he most likely is crazy strong inside Super Vegeta. There's no way he's not. Okay. And his 18 key, uh, he raises allies and enemies attack and defense by 8% for four turns. He raises the allies, enemies attack and defense for four turns by 8% and lowers his own attack and defense by 8% for three turns. So he's debuffing his attack and defense as well as raising allies and enemies attack and defense. Cool that he's raising allies enemies well not enemies excuse me it's cool he's raising enemies attack and defense enemies oh my god it's good that he's raising allies why am i confusing both those words i'm leaving that in the video i'm not cutting that out uh, it's good that we're that this guy's raising allies attack and defense for multiple turns but obviously it's not great that he's raising the enemies attack and defense that's not good i can't believe i just had the craziest brain fart we're leaving that in the video editing dev you're not taking that out um so pretty much to sum up this guy's kit i mean strong at the start of turn first like turn one and he gets weaker as the fight goes on and i'm going to assume that he when he transforms into super vegeta he's just god right let's just assume that he uh transforms can be activated when this character has taken damage greater or equal to 60 percent of max hp does not have to be from one attack or when hp is 30 percent or less starting from the sixth turn from the start of battle hell nah hell nah we're not gonna be at that it's gonna more than likely be this yeah yeah because this is this is rough man this is rough for sure because if you don't get this guy out he's a sitting duck inside this form because he loses his guard loses his attack and defensive buff loses his key He's gonna be sitting with 15% damage reduction. Um, and if he's not below this this 60% uh, or less HP threshold or this 45% or less HP threshold, he's gonna be getting cooked. He, If he is not below this 60% or less HP threshold, he's he's like, he's a sitting duck. Absolutely. That's that's definitely gonna be the issue with him. Yeah, certainly. I'll go see what Super Vegeta is looking like. So um, we're gonna just assume that he's a god. Okay, Super Vegeta. Finally taking the battle serious. Okay, so of course that's his new passive name for Super Vegeta. Nine key and 500% attack and defense at the start of turn. And he guards with 60% damage reduction. And he gets an additional 112% attack and defense performing a super attack. Okay, so that's just all unrestricted. So yes, he is a god. What a surprise. And he recovers 100% HP upon first appearance. Free Sentu Beam just for the team. Amazing. And he changes all key spheres to AGL. And he does guarantee crits upon first appearance. So he's pretty much turning the enemy into just, just eggs and bacon. Just cooked. Literally. He's also effective against all types. And attacks crit when there is an STR type enemy. Okay, cool. Just a little nifty ability though in there. I like that actually. I like that. And he also has a 30% chance to crit when... No, that, that's a 30% chance to crit plus additional 5% chance to crit each time guard is activated for the rest of the battle. Okay. He's building up crit chance each time he takes hits in his guard. And each time uh, guard is activated, all allies in turn get 87% attack and defense for three turns. So he's a monstrous support without the key, but still monstrous support nonetheless. And own first three attacks of turn are guaranteed crits and launches one guaranteed super, two additional attacks that both have 70% chance of a super attack and a 50% chance of launching an additional just normal. And he launches one guaranteed super when key is 20 or more. And each time this character attacks, he gives himself 8% attack and defense for the rest of the battle. <laughs> what? Guys, 
Let me tell you something about permanent percentage stat buffs. When you're permanently building up your attack and defense for the rest of the battle, that is very strong. That is very, very, very strong. Sure, this card has a Sentu Bean effect. Guard, 60% damage reduction. Guaranteed crits. Crit chances built up throughout the battle. So you can build up to like a guaranteed crit. Um, orb changing. Effect up against all types. Why does he have effect up against all types if he can build up to a guaranteed crit? I do not know. But um, additional super attack chance as well as a guaranteed super built into him. Um, he's just, he's crazy. But one thing you guys do got to realize is that that part of his passive is stupid strong. We're going to read it again. Each time this character attacks, he gets an additional 8% attack and defense for the rest of the battle. That is stupidly strong. Now, if this guy is stacking, I'd like to assume he's stacking. If this guy is stacking, then that is just out of this world strong, bro. That's that's the strongest part of his kit. Absolutely. Because Dokkan, this is one thing that vanilla Dokkan has never done. Let a card stack in their passive infinitely. Because why would, why would they do that, right? This is exclusive to custom cards. Exclusive. And he also, uh, and um, just to piggyback off that point, the only time they let cards stack up attack and defense is for within the same turn. Just throw that out there. It's that strong. All right. He also gives himself two key to own key when attacking inside the first or second slot. When in the third slot, he gives two key to, uh, what's that? All allies. Yeah. It's weird because it's worded. It's worded oddly for me. Because here, here's how it's worded. Plus two to own key when attacking in the first or second slot. When in the third slot, plus two to key for allies. That's kind of weird. It's worded a little weirdly for me. So when own key is 24, disable enemy action once only. So if I read it in my own kind of way... Liam, that's just, it's just me. I'm too used to reading. I've read so many damn cards, okay? <laughs> so it's kind of, I read cards how I really want to read them sometimes. Or sometimes I just go with the with how it's uh, typed on the, the document. So uh, his new super attack, um, devastating combo, okay? So he greatly stacks attack and defense. All right, so yeah, my, yeah, I was, I was right. Um, he's stacking in both his passive and his super attack effect. Okay, he does mega colossal damage in his 12 key. And raises allies attack and defense by 10%. Nice. Um, and he also he's stacking for his allies, by the way, because that doesn't say one turn. And greatly lowers attack and defense. Alright. Uh stack and attack and defense for his allies. Greatly lowering attack. And greatly stacking attack and defense. So clearly powerful 12 key. And his 18 key, big bang attack. And he's also doing mega colossal inside of 12 key, just to put that out there. And uh for his 18 key, big bang attack. He uh, massively stacks attack and defense. Uh, he causes ultimate damage to enemy. I'm pretty sure that's like active skill levels of damage. And he raises allies attack and defense by 20%. So he's stacking their attack and defense by 12%. No, 20%, excuse me. And massively lowers enemies attack and defense and seals. So seal, massively lowering attack, stacking enemy, the, excuse me, enemies, the allies. Did I say the enemies? The allies attack and defense. And massively stacking his own attack and defense. And his active skill. Um, <clears throat> Guys. This active skill is looking pretty loaded. I don't know. What do you guys think? Super massively raises attack temporarily and causes super ultimate damage to all enemies. Okay, so high damage multipliers, uh, AOE. Um, all attacks become guaranteed crits if the enemy is still alive. And he gives all allies 87% <clears throat> attack and defense for the rest of the battle. Just a permanent stat buff for them. Not that he's already stacking their attack and defense for the rest of the battle anyways. And he also, uh, what else? He gives all allies 30% damage reduction, self-excluded, for the rest of the battle. Okay. Like, he needs the 30% damage reduction, just to... It's like, he needs it. <laughs> Directs enemies' attacks towards his character for three turns. Okay. And 100% damage reduction for three turns. What do you guys want me to say? I... Stupid broken. I mean, what do I say? 
Um, and the condition can be activated from next attacking turn after the character receives an attack once only, so very easy to get off. Or when HP is 50% or less starting from the next attacking turn. Links are Saiyan Warrior Race, Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, Golden Warrior, Prodigies, Saiyan Pride, and Legendary Power. Categories are Vegeta's Family, Super Saiyans, Pure Saiyans, Battle of Wits, Master Evolution, Andrew Sass Cell Saga, Gifted Warriors, Transmission Boost, and Powerful Comeback. All right, so um, just to real quick go over this card, 200% um, of the skill looks very solid, I would say. Uh, his passive for his base looks looks all right. I think it looks all right. Looks good. I'm, you know, I'm going to say it looks pretty good. It looks good, and I think it fits Vegeta. He starts out stupid strong, gets weaker as the fight goes on, he goes into Super Vegeta, and he's literally God. Because, you know, he's whooping second form Cell's ass. Like, just just handing him the, the work. Super, his post-transformation super attack effects are banana strong. Active skill is stupid strong. I, what do you want me to say? I mean, what do you want me to say here? Um, problems? Um, active skill condition, uh, he has to take damage greater than or equal to 60% of max HP. So he has to take, he has to take that much. I don't know. I do not know. Does not have to be from one attack. Okay. But still, this is very specific or it has to be this. His active skill could be a problem. I'm editing it. Why can I edit it? Oh, okay. My bad. Did not know I edited that. All right, his active skill could be a problem. Outside of that, he's a god. I mean, his 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 super attack effects for his base is a little a little weird. I mean, I guess it makes sense underestimating the opponent. Sure, I guess this is something that makes sense going towards his card to the anime. Clever if it's for something that's meant to be a reference to the anime, but if not, then I'm not really a big fan of it. But outside of that, W card Liam. Um, yeah. That's going to be about it. Uh, send me custom cards over to BHF Custom Cards at gmail.com so I get to your custom card as soon as possible. I'm getting all of these recent custom cards out the way. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best. I'll catch you guys next time. I absolutely love you all. Peace.